think we do need to hold to that northern powerhouse vision that George Osborne set out a decade ago because it remains true, doesn't it? If you bring these northern cities closer together, if they collaborate more, then we'll more than punch our weight on the world stage. I would just say truthfully to people that we're the fastest growing digital and tech hub in Europe and immediately uh, you've got people's attention and you know it's digital and tech in all of its forms isn't it? It's fintech, it's um, cyber, it's AI, it's creative digital which has been a long-standing strength so I, I think people are interested in that success story. We're the city region that has the largest student population in the country, over 100,000 uh, students here, 36,000 graduates every year. I think we're becoming more and more attractive uh, for that reason and many others, it's also a great place to live, you know. I would probably go as far as to say, regardless of whichever flavour of government, we've got some brilliant signals around science, technology, innovation, the core heartland of what GM is going to be able to deliver for the UK economy. So we've got a really good line of sight now of um, our own assets and opportunity to drive economic growth, where that fits in the UK picture. And I think generally government um, is really open to a conversation, not just with our political leaders, but actually with the business community about how we work together to drive that forward. I think the continuance of devolution is going to be really important because regions know what's best for them rather than Whitehall knowing what's best for the rest of the regions. And we're seeing that, that when you have metro mayors that represent businesses and people, faster decision making can be made and we can be more agile to how we actually really accelerate growth. So I think that faster devolution in terms of handing over bigger budgets and allowing mayors to do their jobs, allowing the regions to thrive, is the way to be the catalyst for growth. The city is thriving, but where does it go next? And we heard from Andy today where the focus is really on skills and the future labour force and matching that up with industries here, life sciences, tech, the green revolution that we're all going through and the way in which pension fund money like ourselves can play a huge part in accelerating that investment opportunity and the growth within uh, Manchester that we can see already happening but to take it to a new level. I guess the thing I'm most excited about is that the, the North is seen as, as relevant and more relevant today. You know, I was excited by, by what Andy Burnham was saying about our time is now, and it does feel like that, but we do have to execute, we do have to deliver, so I think we're going to have a lot of fun trying, and we just need to make sure we, we, we keep our eyes on the, on the, on the prize and make sure that um, you know, we, we look after each other, um, but also that, that we are working together.